Welcome back to Knowledge Heals. Today, we're diving into an exciting and essential chapter of Class 11 Mathematics, Complex Numbers and Quadratic Equations. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of complex numbers, how to perform operations on them, and how they help us solve quadratic equations. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a complex number is. A complex number is a number of the form z equal to a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers, and i is the imaginary unit with the property i square equal to minus 1. Here, a is called the real part, and b is the imaginary part of the complex number. Let's take an example to understand better. In this example, 3 is the real part, and 4 is the imaginary part. Now, let's move on to some important definitions and concepts related to complex numbers. Let's talk about the basic operations we can perform with complex numbers. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To add or subtract two complex numbers, we handle the real and imaginary parts separately. Let's look at an example, z, one equal to two plus three, i, i, z, two equal to one plus four, i. Adding z1 and z2, z1 plus z2 is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 3i plus 4i, which is equal to 3 plus 7i, and subtracting z2 from z1, z1 minus z2 equal to 2 minus 1 plus 3i minus 4i, which is equal to 1 minus i. Multiplication involves distributing each part of one complex number to each part of the other. Let's see how this works. So, 1 multiplied by z2 is equal to 2 plus 3 multiplied by 1 plus 4i. Expanding this, we get 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 4i plus 3i multiplied by 1 plus 3i multiplied by 4i equal to 2 plus 8i plus 3i plus 12i squared. Equal to 2 plus 11i minus 12 because i square equal to minus 1, which is equal to minus 10 plus 11i. Division of complex numbers involves multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Here's an example. 3 plus 2i divided by 1 minus i multiplied by the conjugate of the denominator 1 plus i equal to 3 plus 2i multiplied by 1 plus i, which is divided by 1e multiplied by 1 plus i equal to 3 plus 3i plus 2i plus i2 divided by 1 minus i squared equal to 3 plus 5i minus 2, divided by 2, equal to 1 plus 5i, divided by 2, equal to half plus 5i, divided by 2. Next, we have the modulus and conjugate of a complex number. The modulus of z equal to a plus ib is given by modulus of z equal to root of a square plus b squared. It represents the distance of the complex number from the origin in the argon for z equal to 3 plus 4i, the modulus is modulus of z equal to root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to 5. The conjugate of z equal to a plus ib is z bar equal to a minus. For z equal to 3 plus 4i, the conjugate is z bar equal to 3 minus 4i. Let's talk about the Argand plane and polar representation. The Argand plane is a way to visualize complex numbers with the real part on the x-axis and the imaginary part on the y-axis. In polar representation, a complex number z equal to a plus ib can be represented as z equal to r multiplied by cos theta plus c sin theta, where r equal to modulus z. For z equal to 3 plus 4i, a r equal to root of 3 square plus 4 square, equal to 5, and theta equal to 10 inverse, 4 thirds. So, in polar form, z equal to 5, cos theta plus i sin theta. Now, let's solve quadratic equations using complex numbers. Consider the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. The discriminant delta equal to b square minus 4ac determines the nature of the roots. If delta is less than zero, the equation has complex roots. Let's solve x squared plus 4x plus 13 equal to zero. Here, a equal to one, b equal to four, and c equal to 13. The discriminant is delta equal to four squared minus four, 
multiply by 1 multiply by 13 equal to 16 minus 52, which is equal to minus 36. The roots are given by x equal to minus b plus minus root of delta divided by 2a. x equal to minus 4 plus minus root of minus 36 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 equal to minus 4 plus minus 6 c divided by 2, which is equal to minus 2 plus minus 3i. So, the roots of the equation are minus 2 plus 3i and minus 2, 3i. Finally, let's explore some applications of complex numbers. One interesting application is the roots of unity. The nth roots of unity are the solutions to the equation z raised to n equal to 1. These roots are evenly spaced around the unit circle in the complex plane. For example, the fourth roots of unity are 1, minus 1, i, and minus i. That's a wrap on complex numbers and quadratic equations. I hope you found this video helpful and engaging. Remember, complex numbers are not just theoretical. They have practical applications in engineering, physics, and even computer science. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Knowledge Heals for more in-depth math tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.